Bill will now evaluate Lisa's speech. Thank you, Mr. General Evaluator, fellow Toastmasters, and of course, most especially, Lisa. What a beautiful icebreaker. The ice is truly broken. You started off with a map, which someone actually managed to recognize as the United States, and then you gave a tour around it, and that worked beautifully for the things you were doing. Because you have this incredible humor. We were laughing our heads off, and you were so while delivering it. We learned that you were over the age, at, over the hill at the age of 12. I like the way you used the dots to connect the cities that you were going counterclockwise around the country, talking about being on 90210 and camping out for basketball games. There's all this wonderful, sweet humor and excitement. I was thinking, wow, this woman is rambunctious. She's got all these things she's up to. Um, you use a beautiful voice, you're, you're clear, it's very easy to listen to you, your, your vocal, <clears throat> your use of words, I love the fact that you had a panoply of something or another, I love the fact that you were, you didn't need notes, you were here on the board, you were talking to us, and I didn't feel like you were at all nervous, I suspect you were, but I didn't see any of that. And again, just time and time again, you have all these little funny bits that you were dropping. Pass the salt, and by the way, I know Bill Gates. <laughs> that was beautiful. Oh, I felt that your voice got a little bit, you, you were very intense. It feels like a very intense delivery the entire time. And after a while, that, that wore on me, beginning to get a little bit monotone. It just felt like it was, hmm. So, <laughs> The one thing I would like is more pauses and just more vocal variety. But you'll have plenty of time to work on those things. So it was beautiful. The you finished off with, with your just just saying slimy fish. And you, you told stories about yourself, and that's what really worked. I am not going to remember lots of details, but I will remember those little stories. Oh, yeah, she was on the show. Oh, yeah. And her father, of course. You, you have the oceanography uh, magazine there that uh, he brought. And I will remember forever that I should never trust an oceanographer who doesn't have a beard. Thank you very much.